Hey internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative and magicbrad.com. And I have a new guest on the line. I'm gonna find out where she's from, but her name is Kay Sanders and she's a coach. Are you there, Kay? Yes, I'm here. Thanks for having me, Yay. Brad. Great to be here. You've got a little bit of an accent. Is that from where? It is from Germany. I came to the States back in 2006. Aha, see? Where are you yeah. now? I'm in El Paso, Texas, so that's kind of like at the end of the world. So it seems, you know, like sure. very far on Texas site. Yep, you're right down 35W. I'm up in Minneapolis. Oh, okay. So that's not a Texas accent, is it? No, no. I mean, I grew <laughs> up in Germany. I just, you know, I kind of, you know, adjusted to the America life. So it's more like a, a you know, my German is more like a Germlish now rather than German or English. So it's a little bit of everything. Germlish? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I came up with that. That's good. You know, I Spanglish to Spanish and English. So I just made it Germlish. That sounds good. Sounds sounds like you don't have any germs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yay. So are you married and got kids and all that kind of stuff? or? No, I was married. That's how I got here. My ex-husband, he got stationed here with the military. But now mm -hmm. it's just me and my son. He's 13 now, so 13 going on 25. And uh, just me, him, and the two fur balls. You got fur balls, cats or dogs? Dogs. Real big one, big fur balls. Oh, we got a little one, little Chihuahua, it's a little bit corgi and a little bit chihuahua. It's, it's, oh boy. <laughs> he's a crazy dog. Anyways, <laughs> so you are a like a spiritual coach or a life coach. Is that what you do? Uh, I'm an intuitive business coach and mindset mentor. So I focus on the business side and the inner gremlins and the mindset, everything around the business. Of business okay. basically. Interesting. Yeah, I had a friend of mine that was a golf coach and he taught people because they're, you know, they're, they're hooking or they're swinging and it's not right. And then he finds out that there's something wrong with their personal life. And that's why that's happening. So it is interconnected, you know, right? Yes. Yes. Sure. I mean, when I first started with the business coaching, I really realized that you can't become successful if you don't work on the mindset because mindset is, you know, part of everything. If you are not in alignment with what you want to do on a mindset level, no matter what you do, I mean, you can do all the marketing, all the, the doing part. It's not going to get you the results. So I really incorporated that. Because it is, it is like a holistic approach. Like you got to look at everything, not yeah. just you know, the business, the marketing, but you also got to look at okay, what's going on inside, and that's where usually we have all these inner gremlins, the the monkey mind that likes to sabotage our success. Yes. So that's what I really incorporated. That. Yes, and um, it's an ongoing process. I'm 60. I'll be 61 in June, and I'm still dealing with it. I still work stuff and and kind of clear out the old crud off the silver string, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I mean, I always tell people, I mean, for one, you know, spoiler alert, it's messy. Mindset work is very messy because you got to really dig deep, but it's also an, an ongoing process. You can't just, you know, work on it one week and then you're done. I mean, because you're always going to have stuff that's going to come up. So it's like a, you know, you have to kind of do like a daily practice and continuously working on it because you always have things that, that just come up and you just got to know how to deal with it. And I'll give you some props and some endorsement for being a coach because trying to do this yourself, even if you read the self-help books, you've got that monkey mind that's giving you answers and that's not the truth. And you need nope. the coach to kind of reflect back in the mirror what's really going down. Yeah, because I mean, <laughs> we don't really like, you know, really looking at what's really going on. I think the biggest challenge that most people have is because when it comes to mindset work, you have to be honest with yourself because everything that's happening in your life, it's because you made a choice one point in your life that caused the circumstance to develop like that. Right. And it's like, you know, being honest with yourself, that's where a lot of people have a hard time because we like to, you know, point fingers, you know, oh, the economy is bad. And, you know, I, gee, that guy left me or the woman left me and I'm like all messed up because of this. And no, it's really something that, you know, we, we are responsible for everything that's going on in life. Right. And just being brutally honest with yourself that, hey, you know what, I think I have these fears. I think this is what's what's causing my struggle. That's where a lot of people just like, no, it's not me. You know, it's, it's everything else, but it's not really me. So you have to be very, very honest with yourself to really find out what's causing the, the struggle and then also be open enough and make the choice because everything is a choice. Mm -hmm. But then you have the choice to do something about it or continue making the same choices that lead you, you know, continuously down the same road. But it's really, you know, it's all about choices and really realizing what's going on. Yeah, are you familiar with T. Harv Ecker? I sure am. Yeah. His thing uh, that, that really resonates with me is the blame, complain, and justify. And if you're doing that kind of stuff, you're not going anywhere because it's you can't put it on someone else. It's your life, you know. I get it. Yeah, I mean, no one puts a gun at your head and says, like, you can't do that. You can't do that. You have to do this. It's all a choice that you make yourself. Yeah. And so, sometimes you don't know why you're making it. 
you just make it subconsciously, right? Yeah, that's that monkey mind, you know, it's because our ego is trying to keep us safe. So anything yeah. that you're trying to do that is different, that is new, that is unknown, your monkey mind is like, oh, my God, this is scary. So it's really sabotaging you. It's going to you know, pull up all the self doubt. Like, you can't do this. You're not good enough. You, you don't do that because you're going to fail. What if people don't like you? What if people are going to reject you and all of that? So that is your, just really just your ego mind, your monkey mm -hmm. mind trying to keep you safe right. because right now the where you are right now that is comfortable because it's the known now if you for example want to go from where you're at right now to you know making like you know double of income that you're that you're making right now within a very short time your ego is going to go crazy because that's the unknown that's uncomfortable because your life is going to change so your ego is that's just really your ego coming up really trying to keep you in in check keep you in the place that you're at right now because it does not like the unknown, the, the, you know, the fear of the unknown, you always hear it. <laughs> so that's really just your ego mind trying to keep you safe. So it looks like I see some certificates and stuff on the back there. Are you, do you do your work inside your office or do you go remote or you use uh, internet based or well, what do you do? I do, do, do your... online. I mean, this is my, actually my low, my third bedroom in my house. So I just kind of made that, I need to actually change that. It looks very corporate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I do everything virtually. Um, I haven't really had much, um, you know, I don't really have any local clients. So for me, everything is done virtually. Okay. I have clients all over the country, basically. And actually, other that's the way it works. I, I use this thing for doing my work. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Zoom, phone. That's what I use. Email. Yes. <laughs> so I, I'm always kind of curious, like when you do your work, are you, do you prefer to do it in the morning or you'd like to do stuff at, in the afternoon? Are you a morning or AM, PM person? AM or PM? I'm like a day person. I don't like working oh. too late usually. I mean, I get up at like now I started getting up at five o'clock. I'm trying to do the whole 5 a.m. kind of thing. You should really not do that when the time just changes. It's very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> but I usually, you know, I, guess I get up in the morning, do my personal uh, personal development routine in the morning, do my writing and those type of things. And then I usually start between two, uh, seven and eight. My first call is not until nine o'clock because I still need some more caffeine in the morning before I can right. actually get started. But then around seven or eight, that's like, okay, you know, now I work my 12, 13, 14 hours. I think I'm good now, but I can't really stay up late unless I have a big project. Then I work late. But with with clients, the latest I usually work is like seven o'clock with clients. Sure. That makes them, I'm, I'm kind of similar. So before I ask my favorite question, that's the big W question, which is why. Um, can you share how to get a hold of you or if you got any like uh, freebie offers or trial offers or anything like that you can offer anyone? Yes. Uh, well, the way to get a hold of me, my website is ksanders.com. Uh, I also am on Facebook. I have my own little Facebook group, the Conscious Entrepreneur Lounge. Uh, I'm also sort of regular on Facebook, on LinkedIn. You know, if you type in K Sanders, you know, a lot of stuff comes up <laughs> as far as the freebie. I would like to, uh, you know, offer the my messages of inspiration. Uh, it's a 365 day email series that actually is also turned into a book, which comes out here very soon. And oh. it's basically one email a day with an inspirational quote and also an action steps that you can take. So not just reading the quote and yay, great quote, but also sure. action steps to do something with that. And that you can find at messagesofinspiration.com. It also has more details about my book launch as well. Messagesofinspiration.com. Got it. Okay, well, then I'm going to ask my favorite question. That's the big why. Why are you doing this? Why are you not a school teacher? Why didn't you start a daycare center or maybe a food truck? Why are you doing this? Well, see, when I was working in a PTSD treatment facility back in 2012, I learned a lot about my own struggles. I mean, I used to have PTSD, anxiety, depression, all of it. And I did not want to, I want to change my life. So that's when I really dove deep into you know, research, came across the coaching industry, and I realized, you know what, anything is really possible because, I mean, I'm from Germany. My ex left us two months after we got here, just left us here without family and anything. Mm. And I always had that desire that I want to do more. I mean, in Germany, they were always talking about, you know, United States, the land with the unlimited opportunities. And then when I came here, you know, I saw those opportunities. But it was like I had to go through a whole lot of ups and downs and struggles. But then, you know. I made it out okay and my desire is really I want to inspire people to really go out there and do whatever they want to do really to manifest what they want to manifest because I believe I truly believe that anything is possible sure so that's really where my mind why it comes from is I want to help people to really step out of their comfort zone to really go after what they want 
that nothing in life is, you know, horrible enough that's going to keep you stuck. Because if I've, you know, overcome all the things that I've overcome, that anyone can do that. And I really believe that no matter what you're going through in life, you can really have what you want. You can be who you want to be. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. Sure. But oftentimes we just think that this is all there is. And we're like, you know, we're right here. We're stuck. We can't get out of here. And my my big desire is I just want to inspire people that anything is possible. And that's sure. why also my book came about and the messages to really remind them that we are divine beings, that we can do, be, and have anything that our heart desires. Okay, well, it's, that's comforting to know. I do a lot of these interviews, and oftentimes the big why is because they want to help people. So there's hope for humanity, as I say. <laughs> yep. So if you want, if you want to stay on a little longer, and maybe if you could put those links in, uh, maybe in Facebook or something, and I can embed them in the video, and we'll put this stuff out to the universe and let people find it. Sounds good. So well, I appreciate you taking the time to be on Synergy Cafe. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.